Hello, this is Cesar with Ultra. Today, I'm going to show you how to do sanitary defense level condition two. On a prior presentation, we review the three defense level conditions. Today, we're gonna be reviewing sanitary level condition two. And stay tuned and I will show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and uh, review what is or what calls for sanitary defense condition level two. Sanitary defense condition level two must be performed when there is a highly contagious pathogen in the community. That means in the neighborhood, not necessarily on the building, but there is suspicious that there is a viral infection somewhere in the community. For that reason, we must take the necessary precautions and ramp up our cleaning and disinfection procedures. So today I am going to show you how to do sanitary defense level condition two. For that, we're gonna be using this uh, machine. It is a, uh, Mr. puts a fine mist of disinfectant solution and uh, as small as 15 micro droplets. So it's very, very small. Applies the disinfectant solution very evenly over the surface. Just to review, let's remember that before we can disinfect, before we can apply disinfectant, we must clean the entire area from top to bottom. We have already cleaned here. For this demonstration, I am going to be using, I'm gonna be applying the disinfectant with this machine over this fixture, over the mannequin, and over the doors. So today, I am going to show you how to do sanitary defense condition to stay tuned and learn how to do this procedure. But before I can do that, before I can even start disinfecting, I must put on the personal protection equipment or PPE. So I'm going to do that and then we'll start using the machine to apply disinfectant solution over the area. So now that I have my personal protection equipment, we'll go ahead and start disinfecting. By the way, for this procedure, you must have goggles, a mask, and gloves. So let's start. Now we have finished our video on how to clean and disinfect under a sanitary defense condition level two. This procedure is applied when there is a highly contagious pathogen in the community, not necessarily in the facility, but in the community. So for that reason, we must first clean top to bottom and then apply disinfectant over the entire area that we clean and more if necessary. For now, I'd like to thank you for watching our videos, for subscribing to our channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe today so you don't miss important information. I wanna tell you that if there is any videos that you wanna see on cleaning or any special procedures on cleaning, disinfection, floor care, carpet care, you name it, please let us know. We're here to help you and we're here for you. For now, please be safe, be vigilant, and take care of yourself. Until the next one.